And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. So without further ado, Silly Songs with Laddie. The Water Buffalo Song Everybody's got a water buffalo Yours is fast but mine is slow Oh, where'd we get them? I don't know But everybody's got a water buffalo I took my buffalo to the store Got his head stuck in the door Squealed some lima beans on the floor Oh, everybody stop got it. a... Stop, stop right this instant! What do you think you're doing? You can't say everyone's got a water buffalo and everyone does not have a water buffalo. We're going to get nasty letters saying, where's my water buffalo? Why don't I have a water buffalo? And are you prepared to deal with that? I don't think so. Just stop being so silly! This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Everybody's got a baby kangaroo. Yours is pink, but mine is blue. Ah! Hers was small. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Our curtain opens as Laddie, having just finished his morning bath, is searching for his hairbrush. Having no success, Laddie cries out, Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where, 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 Is my hairbrush? Having heard his cry, Pa Grape enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Pa regains his composure and reports. I think I saw a hairbrush back there! Back there is my hairbrush. Back there is my hairbrush. Back there, back there, oh where, back there, oh where, oh where, back there, back there, back there! Is my hairbrush? Having heard his joyous proclamation, Junior Asparagus enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Junior regains his composure and comments, Why do you need a hairbrush? You don't have any hair! Larry is taken aback. The thought had never occurred to him. No hair? What will this mean? What will become of him? What will become of his hairbrush? Larry wonders, No hair for my hairbrush. No hair for my hairbrush. No hair, 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 back there, no hair! For my hairbrush! Having heard his wonderings, Bob the Tomato enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Bob regains his composure and confesses, Larry, that old hairbrush of yours, well, you never use it, you don't really need it, so, well, I'm sorry, I didn't know, but I gave it to the peach, cause he's got hair. Feeling a deep sense of loss, Larry stumbles back and laments, Not fair, oh my hairbrush, not fair, my poor hairbrush. Not fair, not fair, no hair, not fair, no wear, no hair, not fair, not fair, not fair! My little hairbrush. Having heard his lament, the peach enters the scene. Himself in a towel, both Larry and the peach are shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of each other. But recognizing Larry's generosity, the peach is thankful. Thanks for that hairbrush. Yes, good has been done here. The peach exits the scene. Laddie smiles, but still feeling an emotional attachment for the hairbrush, calls out, Take care of my hairbrush. Take care, oh my hairbrush. Take care, take care, don't dare not care. Take care, nice hair, no fair. Take care, take care of my hairbrush. The end. It's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Larry will be performing the traditional Argentinian ballad, The Dance of the Cucumber, in its original Spanish. Bob the Tomato will translate. Miren al pepino, Watch the cucumber. See mueve, how he moves. Un león, like a lion tras un chasing a mouse. Miren al pepino, Watch the cucumber. Que suave oh, how smooth his motion. Like butter on a, chango, a bald monkey. 
need an al pepino. Watch the cucumber. Los vegetales. All the vegetables. Inviten a su Envy amigo their friend. Wishing bailar. to dance as he. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Baila, baila dance, ya. dance, yeah. Miren el tomate. Look at the tomato. No es triste. Isn't it sad? Él no puede bailar. He can't dance. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. Él desearía poder bailar como el pepino. He wishes he could dance like the cucumber. Libre y suavemente. Free and smooth. Pero no puede danzar. But he, he can't. Okay, stop the music. What do you mean I can't dance? I can dance. Well, what about Uncle Louie's polka party? Didn't you see me dancing at Uncle Louie's polka party? No comprendo. No comprendo? I'll show you no comprendo. Mom, Dad, look over here. Get a picture of me next to the cucumber in authentic Argentina garb. Okay, Junior, but we better hurry. I think the dwarves have your mother confused with someone else. <laughs> Say peas. Peas. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Oigan su Hear voz fuerte. his strong voice. Like a lion. Listo a devorar. About to eat. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Que dulce es su canto. How sweet his voice. Que sorpresa su garganta. The breath garganta. from his throat Parece is like a chorus trina. of little birdies. Escuchen al Listen pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Los All vegetales. the vegetables. Inviten a su amigo como él quiere cantar. As he. Pepino Singing cantador. Singing cucumber. Pepino Singing cantador. cucumber. Pepino Singing cantador. cucumber. Canta, Sing, canta sing, ya. yeah. Escuchen al tomate. Listen to the tomato. No es triste. Isn't it sad? Él no puede cantar. He can't sing. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. Él desearía poder cantar. He wishes he could sing. Fuerte y luce como el pepino. Strong and sweet like the cucumber. Pero no puede. But he can't. Ni siquiera da un sorbido. Can't even whistle. All right, that's it, señor. Come over here and let me sing you a song. Adios, amigos. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Bob is really angry. I hope he doesn't catch me. It's so hard to run with the sombrero on my head. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. One day, while talking with Dr. Archibald, Laddie confronts one of his deepest fears. If my lips ever left my mouth, packed a bag and headed south, that'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. I see, that'd be too bad. You'd be so sad. That'd be too bad. All righty. If my lips said adios, I don't like you, I think you're gross, that'd be too bad. I might get mad. Hmm, that'd be too bad. You might get mad. That'd be too bad. Fascinating. If my lip moved to the loose, left a mess and took my tooth, that'd be too bad. I'd call my dad. Oh dear, that'd be too bad. You'd call your dad. That'd be too bad. Hold it! Did you say your father? Fascinating! So what you're saying is, if your lips left you... That'd be too bad, I'd be so sad, I might get mad, I'd call my dad, that'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. Why? Cause I love my lips. Believe that bop dee ba boo, ee da ba boo ba da boo bow. Yabba da bop dee ba bow boo bum dee ba 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 dow. Yabba da ba da ba blee ba blee ba rum. Oh my, this is more serious than I thought. Laddie, what do you see here? Um, that looks like a lip. What about this? It's a lip. And this? It's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 lip. Laddie, tell me about your childhood. When I was just two years old, I left my lips out in the cold and they turned blue. What could I do? Oh dear, they turned blue. What could you do? Oh, they turned blue. I see. On the day I got my tooth, I had to kiss my great aunt Ruth. She had a beard, and it felt weird. My, my, she had a beard, and it felt weird? She had a beard. Oh. Ten days after I turned eight, got my lips stuck in a gate. My friends all laughed, 
Me and I just stood there until the fire department came and broke the lock with the crowbar, and I had to spend the next six weeks in lip rehab with this kid named Oscar who got stung by a bee right on the lip, and we couldn't even talk to each other until the fifth week because both of our lips were so swollen, and when he did start speaking, he just spoke Polish, and I only knew like three words in Polish, except now I know four because Oscar taught me the word for lip. Usta. Your friends all laughed. Usta. How do you spell that? I don't know. So what you're saying is that when you were young... They turned blue, what could I do? She had a beard and it felt weird. My friends all laughed. Whoop-da! I'm confused. I love my lips. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie say... Have I ever told you how I feel about my nose? Oh, look at the time! Bye, ba boo ba bee ba bee ba dee ba boo ba bee ba And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. It's Christmas Eve, and Laddie is anxiously awaiting the arrival of Santa Claus with a plate of cookies. Oh, Santa, I can't wait for you to come. I just can't wait for you to come. And I've got cookies, three yummy cookies. Just for you for when you come, only for you for when you come. Because it's Christmas. Could that be Santa? Could that be him? Could it be the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me? A good cucumber like me. Larry is surprised to be greeted not by Santa, but a crafty bank robber. Who are you? I'm a bank robber! And I've come to rob your bank. Yes, I've come to rob your bank. And I've come to take your dimes and swipe your nickels. So stand back, step aside, you silly pickle. And let me in. Although frightened by the intruder, in the spirit of Christmas, Larry makes an offering. I'm not a banker. I have no bank, my robbing friend, but I have cookies. Three yummy cookies. And I don't have nickels. But please take this, my robbing friend. Eat one of these, my robbing friend. They are for Santa. But you may have one. The bank robber is truly touched by Larry's goodwill. But Larry, although momentarily distracted, is still excited about seeing Santa. Oh, Santa. I'm a robber. I, can't I came wait for to rob you your to bank. Come. Yes, I, I came to rob your bank. Come and I've got cookies. You shared a cookie. Two yummy cookies. I yummy cookie. Just though I'd love for to take your time. Perhaps for another time. time. Because it's Christmas. Could that be Santa? Could that be him? Could it be the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me? A good cucumber like me. Once again, it is not Santa who has come to Laddie's door, but this time a savage Norseman. Who are you? I'm a Viking! And I've come to take your land. Oh yes, I've come to take your land. And I've come to burn your crops and steal your horses. And I've come to step on your chickens and soil your quilts. Hey. Aye. Although frightened by the intruder, in the spirit of Christmas, Larry makes an offering. I don't have land, I don't have crops, my Viking friend, but I have cookies, two yummy cookies. And I don't have horses, but please take this, my Viking friend, eat one of these, my Viking friend, they are for Santa, but you may have one. The Viking is also touched by Larry's goodwill, but Larry's thoughts are still with Santa. Oh, Santa. I'm a Viking. I can't I wait to take your land. Oh, yes, I can't wait to take your land. I've got a cookie. You shared a cookie. A yummy cookie. A yummy cookie. Just for you far when you come. Just for you far when you come. Because it's Christmas. Could that be Santa? Could that be him? Could it be the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me? A good cucumber like me. Larry is greeted now by an agent of the Internal Revenue Service. Who are you? I'm from the IRS. 
And I've come to attack Shark. Oh, Santa. I can't wait for you to come. I just can't wait for you to come. It's finally Santa. It's finally him. At last, the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me. A good cucumber like me. I'm Santa, and I've come to bring you gifts. Oh, yes, I've come to bring you gifts, and I've come to stuff your stocking. Go, ho, ho, ho. And I've come to jiggle my belly and wiggle my nose. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that my belt? And what are you doing with my hat? So you're the ones. Wait a minute, I can explain. We've changed. Nobody messes with Santa. You know that, don't you? You've been very naughty. And I've got a list. Did you claim that? Merry Christmas! And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Joining Larry are Pa Grape and Mr. Lunt, who together make up the infamous gang of scallywags, the pirates who don't do anything. We are the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay at home and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you we don't do anything. Well. I've never been to Greenland, and I've never been to Denver, and I've never buried treasure in St. Louis or St. Paul, and I've never been to Moscow, and I've never been to Tampa, and I've never been to Boston in the fall. Cause we're the pirates who don't do anything, we just stay home and lie around, and if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you, we don't do anything. And I never hoist the mainstay, and I never swab the poop deck, and I never veer to starboard, cause I never sail at all. And I've never walked the gangplank, and I've never owned that parrot, and I've never been to Boston in the fall. Cause we're the pirates who don't do anything, we just stay home and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you, we don't do anything. Well, I've never plucked a rooster, and I'm not too good at ping pong, and I've never thrown my mashed potatoes up against the wall, and I've never kissed a chipmunk, and I've never gotten head lice, and I've never been to Boston in the fall. Huh? What are you talking about? What's a rooster and mashed potatoes have to do with being a pirate? Hey, that's right. We're supposed to sing about piratey things. Oh. And who's ever kissed that chipmunk? That's just nonsense! Why even bring it up? Am I right? What do you think? I think you look like Captain Crunch. Huh? No, I don't. Do too. Do not. You're making me hungry. That's it! You're walking the plank! Says who? Says the cabin? That's who? Oh, yeah? Aye, aye, Captain Crunch! Hehehehe! <laughs> And I've never licked a spark plug, and I've never sniffed a stink bug, and I've never painted daisies on a big red rubber ball, and I've never bathed in yogurt, and I don't look good in leggings. You just don't get it. And we've never been to Boston in the fall. Pass the chips. Who's got the remote control? Here it is. Time for Heraldo. It's definitely time for Wapna. Oh, I don't like this show. Hey, look! I found a quarter! And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Larry the Cucumber presents in a sequential image stereophonic multimedia event, The Song of the Sabu. Sabu. This is a song about a boy. A song about a little boy and his sabus. A song about a little boy and his three sabus. The little boy who had a sick sabu, a sad sabu, and a mute sabu. And also a hippo. Um, um, this is me at the airport. This is my Aunt Ruth. This is me at a bullfight. This is me fighting a bull. Oh. This is me and the bull. Ah. This is me and the bull, and I think that's the bull's cousin. He's a sabu. Hold it! You call this a multimedia event? This is a slide projector and a bed sheet. And what on earth is a sabu anyway? It's kind of like a cow. See? Yes. Well, very good. Uh, this could be interesting. Carry on. The Fable. Sing it with me. The Fable. Sable. Boy is riding with Sabu. Boy is riding with Sabu. Into town in his canoe. Into town in his canoe. Six Sabu is rowing and sneezing. A choo moo moo, a choo moo moo, a choo moo moo, a choo moo 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 moo. A choo moo moo, 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 a choo moo moo moo. Hippo chewing on bamboo. Hippo chewing on bamboo. Can't see boy in three Sabu. Can't see boy in three Sabu. Sad Sabu is rowing and crying. Bahoo moo moo, bahoo moo moo, bahoo moo moo, bahoo moo 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 moo. Bahoo moo moo, 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 bahoo moo moo moo. It's a boo. Hippo seen by Mutabu. Hippo seen by Mutabu. Tries to tell the other two. Tries to tell the other two. Mutabu is waving and grunting. Again. You can't just start a song and leave it hanging like that. You know, I've come to expect a lot more from you. This is quite disappointing. I'm going to have to speak to Bob about this. Oh, look, a Sabu. Sabu. No, wait. That's a water buffalo. No more song about Sabu. Need another verse or two. Audience is scanning and leaving. Bye bye moo moo, bye bye moo moo, bye bye moo moo, bye bye moo moo moo. I want my money back. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> and now it's time for Love Songs with Mr. Lunt, the part of the show where Mr. Lunt comes out and sings a love song. said to her I'd like a cheeseburger And I might like a milkshake as well She said to him I can't give you either And he said isn't this burger bell She said yes it is but we're closed now But we open tomorrow at 10 He said I am extremely Cheeseburger, he'll wait for you. Oh, 
till sunrise He may have dozed off once or twice When he spotted a billboard for Denny's Bacon and eggs for half price How could he resist such an offer? He really needed something to munch Cheeseburger, please do not get angry He'll eat and be back here for lunch Cause you're his cheeseburger His precious cheeseburger And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. There lived a man so long ago, his memories but faint was not admired, did not inspire, like president or saint. But people came from far and near with their afflicted pets for a special cure. They knew for sure. Would it come from other pets? Whoa! He's gone a little loopy, in case you haven't heard. Here's a couple penicillin for your sickly arctic void. Mm. No skeptic could explain just how nor could one off three but The wondrous deeds that went on in that little alpine hut. Some would stand in silence while some just scratched their scalps For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps Whoa! Good news on the penguin, Doc! He's up and kicking! In your car, drive into the city, buy a jug of milk for your nauseated kitty. <laughs> the practice grew, their profits flew until one fateful day. When the nurse who did assist the doc asked for a raise in pay. The doctor pondered this a while, sat back and scratched his scalp, then said, no way, Jose. To the nurse of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps. Whoa! Good news on the kitty, Doc. She's feeling great. Six kittens. Named one after you.
like he's clean. Now the moral of our story, it's the point we hope we've made. When you go a little loopy, better keep your nurse well paid. Whoa! Some would stand in silence while some just scratch their scalps. For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Join Larry as he follows the tragic saga of Barbara Manatee in the daytime drama Endangered Love. Barbara Manatee, you are the one for me. Sent from up above, you are the one I love. Please don't cry, Barbara. You're a nice manatee. You've been so good to me. But I must go into the world and do noble things for the good of all. And you can't come because you don't speak French. Au revoir. But if you need Bill, who will take me to the ball? Who's going to take me to the ball, Bill? I have a new dress and shoes. A new manatee. Take you to the ball, Barbara Manatee. Please don't go. I must. Don't go. I must. Don't. Must. Don't. Don't. Must. Must. Barbara Manatee. Manatee. You are the one for me. One for me. One for me. Sent from up above. Manatee. You are the one I love. things for the good of all. Yes, but first, Bill, will you take me to the ball? Oh, Bill, will you take me to the ball? I can't dance. You can't? No. I must go. Please don't go. I must. Don't go. I must. Don't. Must. Don't. Don't. Must. Must. Barbara Manatee. Manatee. You are the one. Larry? What are you doing? Jeff, watching a little TV, Bob? Well, maybe you should read a book. Yeah, okay. This has been Silly Songs with Larry. Tune in next time to hear Bill say, Barbara, I've learned to dance. Oh, Bill. Waiting for the trolley, he had a hat, my high silk hat. He wore it high upon his head so proudly, a beautiful hat, my high silk hat. A hat like this just makes him feel so grandly. Now fancy this and fancy that. 
the splendor of this hat in all its majesty. Like a king in a royal cap. I feel so swell and handsome in my hat. I bet that others wish they had. In fact, a hat as this, a hat as that, a hat so high, a high so hat. Oh, Mr. Art Bugatti, now what do you think of that? Now his hat was not all he was so proudly. I must, in fact, share more than that. For upon his lap there sat a treat so fungy of chocolate this and chocolate that. Deliciousness that makes him feel so dandy. A chocolate bliss. A chocolate snack. Inventions such as these are more than candy. So what I buy, a box of that. I have my chocolate placed upon my lap. I feel so good, you just cannot top that. I have my snack, a chocolate pack of chocolate this and chocolate that. Oh, golly, Mr. Nazar, now what do you think of that? Time was passing and the sun grew hotter upon his hat. And so the snack. So beneath his hat he thought and pondered. What should I do to save my hat? He thought and contemplated as he perspired beneath his hat. Upon his hat. He feared his chocolate treats would soon retire and to a pool. A chocolate bag. I won't feel grand if I take off my hat. The sun's getting hot and my hat just might go flat. My hat just might go flat and my sweets will melt like that. Oh, hurry, Mr. Trolley, before my dap furnace goes flat. He decided to forego his looks so dashing to save his hat. And eat a snack. So he placed the treats upon the seat beside him and put his hat on top of that. Oh, please. Oh, please, oh, please. Don't anybody sit close to me, sit close to me. Upon, my hat. upon my hat. I ask if all of you could be so kindly and just stand back away from my snack. A great big squash just sat upon my hat. A great big squash just squished my hat real flat. He squashed my hat, he made it flat. He squished my snack. Oh, what a that. Oh, tell me anybody. Now, what do you think of that? A great big squash is standing on his hat. A great big enormous squash squished his hat. The black is white, his hat, he made it black, he squished his hat. Oh, what a bad! Oh, golly! Uh, what's your name? They've never given me a name. I've been around since show one, and I still don't have a name. Now, what do you think of that? Chicken! Kung Pao. Chicken! Mongolian. Chicken! Sweet and sour. Chicken! Cashew. Chicken! Do the moo shoo. Moo shoo shoo. Moo moo shoo. Moo moo shoo. Moo moo shoo. Moo moo moo. Moo shoo shoo. Pork! Mandarin pork! Barbecued pork! Sweet and sour pork! Spicy shredded pork! Do the tofu! Tofu foo! To 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 foo foo! Fo fo to 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 fo! Stop! Break a fortune cookie! Beware of grape with wooden mallet. Ain't that the truth. Hi everyone, this is Larry. Normally, this would be the time when the narrator comes on and says, and now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. But I've been thinking and talking with the guys. And we've decided it's time to broaden our scope. Artistically. Yeah, we're artists. Word up. There's a time to be silly. And there's a time to be serious. It's time to open up your heart and show how you feel, artistically. Because we all have something to share.
Maybe I know your eyes see right through my disguise. And no one can deny. Maybe that I'm the one whose love is no surprise. And he can't tell you no lie. But there's a secret I've been hiding. I can't keep it no more. There's this thing about himself he's never told you before. Maybe. Something missing in my middle and it's hard to ignore There's this thing about himself he's never told you before Suspension, it suspends me over heights I've never known. And your roll bar is to die for, by the way. I like your chrome. You already said that. Did I? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you and me in our sport utility vehicles. Cruising to 7 Eleven for a bag of free delays. Oh, you and me in our sport utility vehicles. We'll slam into four wheel drive. If there ever was a snow, you know, a really, really deep snow. And if everyone was stuck but us, we'd be the ones not stuck. Then we could be the heroes. Oh, we could be the heroes. Yeah, we would be the heroes. Who would push them and pull them? I like your car. I like yours too. Periwinkle. It's baby blue. How's it handle? Like a dream. How about coffee? And then ice cream. Oh, you and me in our sport utility vehicles. Cruising to Dunkin' Donuts for a cup of steam and joe. But one day, I'll go. 
like your car. I like yours too. Is it a Jeep? It's my sport utility vehicle. And now it's time for Schoolhouse Polka with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a Schoolhouse Polka. Whether, 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 whether you like it or not. Whether, 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 whether is cold, warm, and hot. Two, 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 my favorite toys. I'm bringing two, 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 a place the first one enjoys, and I like it too. Homophones, homophones, where the crews come cruising down the plane. Homophones, homophones, I need my needed biscuits played. I know a pair, 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 pair with a pair of really soft shoes. He wears in the pair, 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 bushes that easily bruise. I planted rows, 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 rows of a horribly bad smelling rose. Now no one knows, 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 knows if the scent will be leaving my nose, but most likely no. Oh, homophones, homophones, where the toads are towed out on the plane. Homophones, homophones, I need my needed biscuits played. Whether, 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 whether you like it or not. Weather, 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 weather is cold, warm, and hot. This has been Schoolhouse Polka with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. What happened to my preposition? I took it on an expedition. Put it by the thing. I keep my fishing. Got infected with a skin condition. And? I'm a pronoun, they're a pronoun, he's a pronoun, she's a pronoun. Wouldn't you like to be a pronoun too? And? It was the biggest, bluest, cleanest, brightest, quickest, newest, roundest, nicest, softest, tallest, toughest, lightest, smoothest, kindest, flattest, tightest, most amazing adjective I've ever seen. And? I'm done. Interjections? Adverbs? Uh, no. All righty. And now it's time for The Blues with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings the blues. Hey everybody, I'm gonna lay down some blues. All sunshine and roses, no rain came my way. I said, all sunshine and roses, no rain came my way. Mm -mm. My dad bought me ice cream. Oh, happy, 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 happy day. singing when you feel sad. But I don't feel sad. And you got no business singing the blues. Here, let me help you out. Take this. Cool, ice cream. Thanks. Now give me back that ice cream. You took my ice cream. You took it from me. You took my ice cream. You took it away from me. Yeah, now you're getting it. Now listen up. But I'm still not sad. I'll just have a cookie. No, 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 man. You almost had it. Come on, like this. You took away my ice cream. You took it away from me. I don't care about no cooking! 
Now try it again. My cookies and ice cream, they both gone away. That's right. Mm -hmm. Feel it. My cookies and ice cream, they both gone away. Oh, sweet, man. Sweet. But that don't bother me none. I got me my freshly baked strudel. Tell me you're gonna eat that poodle. No, I'm just gonna pet Pet poodles makes me happy. <laughs> Sorry, man. You way too happy to sing the blues. Hello? Would you like to poker? Sure! Don't got no ice cream, no cookies, no strudel. Don't got no ice cream, no cookies, no strudel. Just here with my poodle. That's right. Oh yeah, I'm your lady, your lady, your lady happy too. Just me and my poodle. This has been the Blues with Let. Tune in next time to. Oh never mind. Let is not likely to be singing the blues again anytime soon. Now it's time for Silly Songs with Letty, the part of the show where Letty comes out and sings a silly song. Got the munchies on that fateful night, around 8 o'clock. So I phoned in a pizza for delivery. But I had a feeling that something wasn't right, because I waited for hours and no pizza. I set the table with a paper plate. How would I know that it'd be late? It's taken so long, where could it be? Had a 30 minute guarantee. Pizza Angel, please come to me. Tomato sauce and cheese, so gooey. Pizza Angel, I'm Lost. Did they just forget? Should I have ordered on the internet? Ready for dinner, now I'm not so sure. I think my soda's room temperature. door in expectation, but it was the saddest sight I ever saw. I could still smell the sweet aroma of deep dish goodness, but the box was empty. Your house number was broken, so I couldn't find you. I was getting kind of hungry, so I ate, ate your pizza. So, sorry about that. You don't need to tip me or anything.
I'll never forget you, Pizza Angel. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Elves, the part of the show where Iricorn comes out and sings a silly song for elves. I asked my baby, my baby elf, a couple questions about myself. If I was handsome, if I was nice, I was looking for her advice. She looked at Shook her head And this is what she said When I go walking all by myself, I'm busy thinking about my elf. I keep her picture upon my shelf. I'm always dreaming about my elf. I won't forget. Deceitful one! Oh, right. Like you're a real elf. Give the guard a bow and arrow and he's a real elf. This has been Silly Songs for Elves. Behold, Legolam! How about thee? My bow shall sing with your pompadour! Don't you point that thing at me. Help! And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry. The part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. There once was a boy who lived in a house, and the house sat under a tree. By the tree ran a fence that stretched far and wide round the gated community. Can I have my ball? Can you get my ball? I kicked it into the tree. And my ball bounced up. And my ball dropped in to the gated community. Oh, the gated community is where we like to be. Everything's so lovely, oh, our hearts are filled with glee. And when you come to visit, you can stand outside and see what a lovely bunch we are in our gated unity. Um, can I have my ball? Can you get my ball? I kicked it into the tree. And my ball bounced up. And my ball dropped in to the gated community. Oh, the gated community is where we like to be. Our clothes are never dirty and our lawns are always green. And when you come to visit, you can stand outside and see what a tiny bunch we are in our gated unity. The gated community, we think you will agree, is pleasantly devoid of unsightly screen and free. Free, free of debris. Gated community, our smiles are wide, smiles and comfy custody. And when you come to visit, you stand outside. What a smiley bunch we are in a gated unity. Can I have my ball? Can you get my ball? I can't get into the tree. And my ball bounces up. And my ball drops in. To the gated community. What a lovely bunch we are. To the gated community. What a happy bunch we are in a gated community. Been silly songs with Larry. Oh, look! A 
fall. Tune in next time to hear Letty say... Thank you. And now it's time for Ukulele Karaoke with Bob, the part of the show where Bob comes out and sings an ukulele karaoke. Uh, what's going on? You are doing the ukulele karaoke, no? No, I'm on a break. Uh, this is the pirates. They are busy with the rest of the show. But I, I, I don't even know the song. Your lyrics, monsieur. Bring in the props. Uh, but wait, I... I <laughs> Monsieur! Hold on a sec! I'm totally unprepared to do a solo. Your backup singers? What? Isn't that the... Oui. They are the Wiggly Turtle Tubies. The Wiggly Turtle Tubies? They look taller on TV. So do you, Tomato! Uh, but really, this is Larry's gig. I can't just... This show must go on, Monsieur. Quick, that is your cue. Just follow along, you will be fine. But... Let's that turtle. Aloha lands. Well, I keep a little turtle at my uncle and my aunt's. My Annie's name is Myrtle, and my island turtle's name is Lance. He doesn't wander far, even if he has a chance. He just plays his ukulele, and he does the hula dance. What? Lance the turtle. Aloha, Lance. Lance the turtle. Dance, dance, dance. Lance the turtle. Aloha, Lance. Lance the turtle. Dance, dance, dance. He threw a luau barbecue one breezy summer night. Invited all his turtle pals to come and have a weeky bite. The turtle started walking there as Lance began to swing. The one that lived across the street arrived there in the spring. Oh, I get it. Turtles are slow. <laughs> so I took them a long time. <laughs> That's pretty good. Lance the turtle. Aloha, Lance. Lance the turtle. Dance, dance, dance. But Lance just kept on cooking. He was grilling full of glee. He was marinating ribs because he likes... <gasps> uh, syrup with his feta cheese? Uh, I'm sorry, I... Lance's purple turtle shell has ketchup, if you please. Pineapples are shiny, spotted tiki bumblebees. Oh, man. Lance and turtle. Aloha, Lance. Lance and turtle. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hey, guys, I don't think this is right. It doesn't make any sense. It works for us. <laughs> but this song, this song. Uh, there are luscious chocolate fingers spinning slowly in the school. Malay Kalikimaka, fluffy bunnies driving in the pool. <laughs> Larry. A thousand igloos wax the feet, spray luggage in the tree, raining puppies, flying clown, flossing Puna Hale. Ow! Oh, forget it. Woohoo! La Paga Sneezy's coconut! Tahiti Yo Yo Leg! White Mini Whiskey Teddy Sauce! Don't make the fuzzy parrot bag! Paper plastic porcupine! The horsey makes his bed! The Huma Huma Nuku Nuku Aboa I was in bed! Lance and Turtle! Hello, Lance! This has been Ukulele Karaoke with Bob. Tune in next time when Bob says... I'll be in my dressing room. Dance, dance, dance. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry. The part of Check the... it, the old dude. Yo, me and the boys had an idea about another way to tell this mo story. Right, boys? Yo! <laughs> Boys, and we'll tell you now how losing your cool and having a cow can run you out when your lip gets flipped and get your mug up all over Egypt. On the banks of the Nile, born and hey. in the grip of the pharaoh in his teenage hey. chilling, kicking, wearing silk jamsies, learning hieroglyphics from his granddad Ramses when a whack Egyptian started whooping it up on his homie Hebrew. Could have called the cops, stood back. But instead, he took a big stick upside of his head. A man's down in Egypt. Our troubles are severe. Na 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 The stress down in Egypt increases more each year. Na 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 na. Now 
word spread fast and he got all scared. Oh. He'd be better off by avoiding the pharaoh. Oh. He packed his bags thinking if he'd stay, they'd be punishing him in a capital way. Oh. Oh. Now Lord only knew, but he thought he might stay a while in the desert like a million night to disengage his rage and become equipped to return to his home as a prince of Egypt. I guess down in Egypt, no moving day. No. Let's stick with the Western. See you guys. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Today, Larry and Bob are on a photo safari, hot on the trail of a monkey. Or an ape. We don't know which, hence the song. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Even if it has a monkey kind of shape. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Let's see if we can catch it on the tape. You can very plainly see if it's a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. Look, there it goes, there it goes. I don't know. I can't tell if it's a monkey or an ape. It's very simple, Bob. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. Oh, uh, Larry, I'm not so sure. Ooga booga, it's not a monkey. Ooga booga, maybe it's an ape. <laughs> if it's a nickel or a salad or a pillow, if it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. If it doesn't have a tail... Not a monkey. Are you sure that's what you really mean to say? A, a camera has no tail. It's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. Huh. I think there's something wrong with your logic, Larry. Well, Bob, the lady at the zoo said it. And who am I to tell her that she's wrong? If there's a tail, it's a monkey. No tail, ape. It's easy. But Larry, a kite has a tail. Then it's a monkey. A comet has a tail. It's a monkey. A bubble doesn't. Then it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape? Exactly. I knew you'd catch on. Larry, we might need to talk about this. I don't think the lady at the zoo meant to... Look, there it goes in the trees. Follow me. It's got to be a monkey or an ape. I can't believe it's true. All this time I've searched for you. Snap the picture, take the shot. We're among the lucky few. We finally did it. Photographer, we've discovered what we're after. Let me look. Is it an ape? Larry, this is a disaster. It's a monkey. <clears throat> Larry, that's a cow. Not that a... was exhilarating. Let's oh. find more. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Even if it has a monkey kind of shape. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. This has been Silly Songs with Larry. Tune in next time to hear Bob say... Uh, Larry, you don't have a tail. I don't? Nope, and neither do I. I wouldn't be so sure about that, Bob. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, nothing. Whoa. <laughs> You're on. What's my line? Just read the script. I don't have one. Larry, where's the script for the silly song? Oops. Don't tell me you forgot. I've got a song. You're a lifesaver. The biscuit of Zaza Miranda go. It lies atop a mound of snow. High in the hills where the cold winds blow. It's the biscuit of Zaza Miranda go. Come on, let's go! The biscuit is as a Miranda bow. Our bags are packed and ready to go. Let's start the van and be gone. Start the van and be gone. Now our bags are all packed and we're ready to go. Let's start the van and be gone. Come on, let's go! The biscuit is as a Miranda what did you say? We can't leave yet today. You've just got an errand to run. I just have to stop at the bank. You just have to stop at the bank? Well, if you insist, I suppose, we can deal with a minor delay. Deal with a minor delay. Say, Archibald, who made this biscuit anyway? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Sir James McNabb of the Guild of Go. He made the biscuit so long ago, and the people they traveled to see it glow all around around the mountain of Zazamaranda Come on, let's go! The biscuit of Zazamaranda Go! The biscuit 
Jumps out of the Moranga. Oh, what is it now? This isn't the way. I just need to stop for some goldfish food. You don't even have a goldfish. No, but I was thinking of getting one, and I wouldn't want him to go hungry. Anybody need anything? Uh, maybe a venti half calf vanilla hazelnut latte? Hold the whipped cream. And maybe one of those little chocolate covered graham crackers? So, Archie, what's so great about this biscuit anyway? Well, if you really want to know, the biscuit of Zazamorantabo was lost to the world many years ago until my great uncle Archibo stubbed his toe on the frozen dough of the biscuit of Zazamorantabo. Come on! Please! No tears! No, not again! It's just not fair! You gotta have a map! A what? A map! A what? A map! Oh! A map! The biscuit of Zazamorantabo! The biscuit of Zazamorantabo! The joy! The thrill! I think I spilled the biscuit! The biscuit! The biscuit of Zazamorantabo! Uh-oh. Mmm, oh. sausage gravy. Huh. I might have made a wrong turn. The biscuit of Doug? <gasps> back to the van! Back to the van! It isn't too late! Let's go! So high in the hills where the cold would flow, the biscuit of Santa Miranda We're almost there! Oh, isn't this great? Who needs to take a party break? Me! Me. I'm here! No! I suppose this has been Silly Songs with Archie. Tune in next time to hear Larry say. I always thought you were the announcer. So did I. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Bob the Tomato, unable to sneeze, visits the sneeze doctor. Please, can someone help me? I need to sneeze. Wait for the sneeze doctor. Just take a seat. He'll be right with you. If you have to sneeze, if you need to, don't hold it in. Just be sure that you cover your mouth with a tissue. I will assist you. Sneeze all your troubles away. Add up to 150 miles an hour. Interesting fact. The average sneeze travels at a rate of 100 miles an hour. In 2003, Dirk Evert of Grunholz, Germany, clocked in at 150. Way to go, Dirk. Danke. I think I have a remedy. Perhaps <laughs> in my potpourri. I bought it from a merchant <laughs> in Spain. For ultimate <laughs> sneeze satisfaction, <laughs> we try to learn. Reaction. Take a deep breath. If it helps, you can squint at the sun. Oh, here's some pepper. Let's see. I know. I can try this feather. Don't be afraid. Set it free. Let it go. 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 Go, 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 go. Interesting fact, the photic sneeze reflex, or sneezing when exposed to bright light, is a genetic trait found in 25% of the population, including Dirk. Gesundheit, which interestingly means good health in German. Yeah. Sneeze if you have to. Sneeze if you need to. Please apologize. Ah! I said it's a little too much. Oh, hey, it hurt. Ah! 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 Ah!
Nashville Silly Songs with Fanny. Tune in next time to hear Dirk say, Ich bin ein Schneezer. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. And what would you like to drink? I'll just have water, please. And could I have it in a glass this time? Hmm, let me check my records. Just as I suspected, good thing I stopped and checked it. My pad is stained and blotted from liquids you spilled on it. I'm afraid the jig is up. You must use a sippy cup. Stop! Don't bring me a sippy cup. Haven't spilled since yesterday. Water won't stain anyway. Bring a mug, bring a jug, just don't bring a sippy cup. Let me check with the bus boy. Is he the one? <gasps> it's you! Every time I fill it, he turns around and spills it. I've bought a hundred blotters, cause you can't hold your waters. This time I'm not mopping up. You, you must, must use a sippy cup. No! Don't bring me a sippy cup. They'll be making fun of me. Put a pail in front of me. Bring a mug, bring a jug, just don't bring a sippy cup. Well, I could ask the maitre d. This is impossible, he puddles up on cafe. You take me for a fool, a restaurant's not a pool. Take his glass and lock it up. The pickle gets a sippy cup. Wait, don't bring me a sippy cup. This time I'm not gonna spill. I'm pretty sure he will. Spilling soda's not a crime. If it is, I'll do time. Just don't bring a sippy cup. Order, order in the court. I judge you the clumsy sort. By the dictates of our laws, I sentence you to safety's cross. It's the governor. Yes, I see. Very well. Thank you, governor. <clears throat> Give me back that sippy cup. You've been granted sippy stay. This must be my lucky day. This must be his lucky day. Bring a mug, bring a jug. I'll bring an absorbent rug. You, you don't, don't need a sippy cup. Compliments of the house. Grape juice. Grape juice? Oops. Sorry. This has been Silly Songs with Laddy. Tune in next time to hear Laddy say, I'll take that sippy cup. And now it's time for Helpful Humanitarian Songs with Mr. Lunt. The part of the show where Mr. Lunt comes out and sings a helpful humanitarian song. Well, he's a mangy old pet. If you saw him, I bet. You'd walk the other way. So sad and alone, with his hair overgrown, like a stinky old toupee. But doggies have feelings, and doggies need love. And doggies like those deep fried treats. That come from up above. Oh, donuts for Peggy. Please give a glaze to make him smile. Thank you, ma'am, for troubled beast. Won't you at least comfort him a while? Sir, can you spare a donut for Peggy? Please help my doggy friend. Thank you, kind sir. A honey dip would really help his broken heart to mend. His broken heart to mend. Well, just look at this pup. <laughs> He's brightening up. 
He's looking not so weak. Oh, then he, his outlook was grim till you gave pastries to him. Oh, look, he wants to speak. Oh, doggies have feelings. Maybe you shouldn't have any more donuts. Doggies no, 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 don't give him any more. They make doggies him crazy. Like Mary Lewis. No, no, no more donuts for the dog. Oh, man, this is a terrible idea. What's wrong again, baby? Stop it. Don't give him any more. This has been Helpful Humanitarian Songs with Mr. Lunt. Tune in next time to hear Mr. Lunt say, Don't give donuts to dogs! And now it's time for Obscure Broadway Show Tunes with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings an obscure Broadway show tune. Without further ado, from the unknown musical Office Supplies, the heart-rending love song, Where Have All the Staplers Gone? We don't have much time before the big meeting. No. No, we don't. Have you seen the scissors, miss? They're in the bottom drawer. I tried that drawer, but they're there no more. That's odd. I know I thought for sure. Have you seen the masking tape? It's right next to the phone. That's what I thought, but now it's not. Hmm. I guess I should have known. Oh, where have all the staplers gone? What happened to our paper clips? The ballpoint pens are gone again. They're gone again. The stick it pads have lost their stick. Do you remember when the rubber bands were in their place? They're in the middle drawer. Light bulbs easy to replace. Yes, there were always more. Reads of paper raining down. Legal pads are plenty. Revenge of the Staplers.
next up on Veggie Shopping Network, Pants. Welcome, viewers. What comes next? A pair of pants with stripes or checks? Dig in your wallet, dump out your purse. Who'll be the one to buy the first pair? You can wear them if you're big, you can wear them if you're small, their pants if you're short, and shorts if you're tall. You can wear them in the spring, you can wear them in the fall, their pants if you're short, and shorts if you're tall. So far, so far, down to 20. Look what you get for a little bit of money, down to your feet and up to your tummy. <laughs> if you buy right now tonight, we'll throw in a set of Ginsu knives. A pair of pants could change your life. One easy payment, nine ninety five. See the tag on the back, one size fits all. Wear pants if you're short. And shorts if you're tall. You can wear them to the farm, you can wear them to the mall. Wear pants if you're short. And shorts if you're tall. Sixteen more, we're down to four. You can't buy these in any store, they're just like your granddaddy wore. Yeah. Six legs less than a squid. It's a verb for a dog and a noun for a kid. With a pair of pants, you're not alone. You can dance with your pants till the cows come home. This pair of pants will win your heart. We accept most credit cards. A stretchy waist, elastic band. Makes need your buffet eating pants. Shoes or slacks or corduroys. Pants bestow a special joy. As seen on the screen of your TV, these pants can hide unsightly knees. This pair is made of high grade vinyl. Don't hesitate, all sales are final. To summarize, you might recall their pants. If you're short and shorts, if you're tall. Four, three, two, one. Going, 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 done. We're out of pants. We gotta run. Pants. You've got some skinny legs. Pants. And now it's time for Bedtime Songs with Junior, the part of the show when Junior gets tucked into his warm, comfy bed and is sung a bedtime song. Good night, good night, I'll tuck you in, good night, I'll kiss your cheek, soon you will sleep, now close your eyes, good night. Junior? Can I have my bear? Your bear? My bear, right there, with brown and fuzzy hair. I love him so, and you must know I feel so much despair. I moan and groan and cry and weep. My tears would drown my counting sheep. You have to sleep. Oh, please, Mom, please don't make me sleep with all my fuzzy bear. Thanks. Good night, good night. The lights are off. Good night. Your sheets soon you will sleep. Now close your eyes, good night. Uh, Mom? Hmm? Can I have my cat? Your cat? My cat, yes, that. He's soft and cute and fat. I love him so, and you must know my heart would fall down flat. It would hear an ache and then it break. My tears would soak up birthday cake. The earth would quake. Oh, please, Mom, please, I'd lie awake with all my jobby cat. Good night, it's really late. Good Mommy, oh, don't go. I need my white tail dough. I love her so, and you must know my grief would overflow. Good night, good night, I'll tuck you in. Good my night. horse, my dog, my prehistoric dog. I love him so, and you must know. Close your eyes, good night. My trout, my trout, good night. My monkey and my moose, good night. My dog, good night. Good night. My monkey and my cow, my four-legged squid, my moose, my white tail. Good night, good night, good night. I'll cry and you must know. Good night, good night, good night. Good night, Junior. Good night. This has been Bedtime Songs with Junior. Tune in next time to hear Junior say... Can I have a drink of water? And now it's time for the latest dance craze with Jean-Claude and Philippe. The part of the show where Jean-Claude and Philippe come out and teach us the latest dance craze. Hello, boys and girls. I am Jean-Claude P. And I am Philippe. Get ready to learn the latest dance craze, Sweeping the Nation. So, Jean-Claude, where do we start? After you, Philippe. After you. 
We're a couple of shipperly for French peas. Most of the veggies totally agree me. And when we're feeling really, really happy, we, we do, do the hopperina. You may ask yourself, what is the hopperina? And how do I do the hopperina? What am I missing out on? Will people like me if I fail to grasp it? Should I just eat a bonbon and go back to bed? That's totally normal. Calm down and we will show you. You don't need much to do the hopperina. It won't take too much time to explain it. Fuzzy slippers on your feet. Bunny ears upon your brain. Not to the, the hopperina. Okay, now that we've got on bunny slippers and ears, what we're going to do is take a hop to the left. Left, beautiful. Now, take a hop to the right. Right. Try bien. You've got it. Hop to the left. We do the hopperina. Then hop to the right. I love the hopperina. Back to the left. And do it once again. Uh. Oh, hopperina. That's it. Amazing! You have mastered the dance so quickly! Let's keep going! Hop to the left. Wait till the hop the right now. Then hop to the right. Hold it! Stop hop, the music! Hop, what hop, are you hop, doing? Hop. hop to the left, hop to the right, hop to the left, hop to the right again. This isn't a dance, it's hopscotch! That's hopperina. A dance has to be more involved. You need more steps, more room for interpretation. We have bunny ears. You think it's so easy? Let's see you do it. All right, then. No, 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 no. You need the ears and feet. Archibald is a serious asparagus. I believe you'd probably agree with us. The best way to not be a sourpuss. Do the hopperina. Hop to the left. He does the hopperina. He hops to the right. Trying not to complain. Uh. Back to the left. And do it once again. Uh. Hey, hopperina. This is actually quite fun. Let's see. I hop to the left. Happy hopperina. Then hop to the right. I love the hopperina. Back to the left. I'll do it once again. Uh. Hey, hopperina. Oh, this is quite fun. Um, can I have my ears back? Okay, that's enough. Thank you. This is very pleasant. This has been the latest dance craze with Jean-Claude and Philippe. Tune in next time to hear Jean-Claude say... I am embarrassed for you. And now it's time for an installment in the history of fashion with Archibald. The part of the show where Archibald comes out and shares a lesson in the history of fashion. In the olden days, the biggest craze with the folks who lived back then of the bourgeoisie and accessory for the women and the men. Not pant or shirt, nor blouse or skirt, or anything made from thread, but woven hair from horse or bear situated on the head. Our astonishing wigs! They're enormously big! We love our astonishing wigs! Astonishing wigs, astonishing wigs! Do you like our astonishing wigs? Most famous queens of greatest means to the lonely Duchess Fair ran a common thread upon the head for those unhappy with their hair. Now you can bet that even pets and livestock would confer. So wigs they took to improve the look of their bristles and their fur. Our astonishing wigs! They're enormously big! We love our astonishing wigs! Astonishing wigs, astonishing wigs, do you like our astonishing wigs? We are the pigs in wigs, yes, our locks are very big, and we squeal without a care in our artificial hair. Our hearts are most enthralled, since pigs like us are bald, so we'll sing and we'll smile and we'll proudly flaunt the style of our astonishing wigs. Quick, quick! And so it's said, this fashion spread from the lofty to the low. From prince to pig, the look was big and continued thus to grow. Hence, girls and boys would dress their toys in manufactured mops. Then bush and tree soon too would see small wigs upon their tops. Ah. Our astonishing wigs! They're enormously big! We love our astonishing wigs! Astonishing wigs, astonishing wigs, do you like our astonishing wigs? These are wigs in wigs, yes, our lives are very big. And they dance without a care in their artificial hair. We don't panic if their hair gets problematic. We just need to back and smile. For the fabricated style of astonishing wigs. Astonishing wigs. So you think I'm silly? Well... Yes. This has been an installment in the history of fashion with Archibald. Tune in next time to hear Archibald say... So then, after a while, wigs went out of fashion and everyone turned to bell bottoms. Oh, brother. Our astonishing wigs! 
And now it's time for the VeggieTales Christmas Party, the part of the show where we join our veggie friends at their annual Christmas party. Well, into an evening of caroling and fun, the caterer has yet to arrive, and the guests are quite hungry. Man, I'm starving! I'm so hungry, I can eat a reindeer. Oh, yeah? Well, I could eat 12 reindeer and a sled. Oh, yeah? Well, hey, Bob, eat... we got any Ritz bits? I'm sorry, Pa, uh, not yet. The food's not here yet. Hey, look, everybody. It's Oscar, the Polish caterer, with the food. Hey! Hello, everyone. I hope you're hungry. Oh, thank goodness you're here, Oscar. What took you so long? The Karbalski wedding. Those people eat like you wouldn't believe. We believe. Well, what'd you bring us? What I bring you? What I bring you? I'll tell you what I bring you. The first Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. A boiled potato top with dill weed. The second Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Two steamed pierogies. Uh, what's a pierogi? It's a dough wrapped around meat. Oh! And a boiled potato top with dill weed. Mm. The third Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Three simmer guamkis. What's a guamki? It's cabbage wrapped around meat. Oh. <gasps> Steam pierogies and a boiled potato top with dill weed. Therefore, Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Four big paprikas. Now, what is a paprika? It's a bell pepper stuffed with meat. I see. Three simmered guampies. Two steamed pierogies and a boiled potato top with dill weed. <laughs> the fifth. Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Five smoked kielbasa. What's a kielbasa? It's pretty much just meat. Oh. Four big paprikas. Three simmered guamkis. Two steamed pierogies. And a boiled potato top with dill weed. The sixth Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Six fried hoose chickies. Oh, let me guess. Something in the meat family? Actually, it's a delightful pastry with a thin flaky crust. Mm. Five smoked kielbasas. Four baked paprikas. Three simmered guamkis. Two steamed pierogies. And a boiled potato top with dill weed. Oh, Oscar, I'm getting kind of full. The seventh Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Seven pitted prunes. I don't like prunes. But this food, you'll need them, son. Oh, is that right? Uh-huh. Six fried hoose cheekies. Five smoked kielbasas. Oi. Four baked paprikas. Three simmered guampies. Two steamed pierogies. And a boiled potato top with dill weed. I'm gonna bust. The eighth Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Eight poppy seed cakes. Poppy, poppy, poppy. There's no place like home. Seven pitted prunes. Six fried hoose cheekies. Five smoked kielbasas. Four baked paprikas. Three simmered guampies. Two steamed pierogies. Christmas party. Tune in next time to hear Oscar say... Anybody wanna lick the spoon? <laughs> and now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Another lonely day in a crowded town Making our way 
the best we know how. But we're moving up. Yo, up, up, up. We're moving in. Oh, coming at ya. Got our dishes packed. Yeah, they are stacked. They've been wrapped to win. Oh, that's the porcelain. I ain't gonna break it. Yo, listen no up. No way. Even if I shake it. Yeah, man. All day. Covered with love. Sealed against troubles. Sheltered in a glove of bubbles, bubbles, bubbles Safe inside the arms of my bubble, bubble, bubble wrap What up, B.I.T.s? Let's wrap that wrap! Oh, yeah! Hey, Kaylee! Bubble wrap, bubble wrap Love to hear that bubble snap Soft like clouds, thunder clap Bubbly bubble, bubble wrap Forever, the part of the show where best friends forever come out and sing a silly song. You're my BF. You're my BFF. You're my BF and FL. My BFF and MW. Gee, I think you're swell. T for B. One thing I know, I am H-O, though I ain't an A-L so true. I'll always be your left sign three, cause G, gee, I think you're swell. swell I think so too, you see, am you, you'll never be O-T-L With you, I am in B-G-C, cause G, gee, I think you're swell There's no one like you, you're so easy to talk to It's the green, all we need is concise communication with the lack of compensation For silly songs with Larry Boy, the part of the show where Larry Boy comes out and sings a silly song. We join the league at supper time as they sit down for a meal prepared by Alfred. I don't want to eat my Brussels sprouts. He doesn't want to eat his Brussels sprouts. And I really, really don't like sauerkraut. Icky, slimy, stinky sauerkraut. My appetite is zero. No need to shed a tear. -oh. You need a supper hero. What's a supper hero? Got diddles you don't want to chew. Yeah, not too appetizing. Don't wanna eat what's cooked for you. No, not really. 
American citizen, don't fear, oh, I am the superhero. He is the superhero. Yummy, 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 Thanks. I like this superhero. This pasta dish has gotten cold. I beg your pardon. This fish stick looks a little old. It's not that old. You can't go on, I must insist. It's my duty to assist. Well, I'm kind of hungry. Good citizen, don't fear, oh. I am the supper hero. He is the supper hero. Yummy, 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 don't worry, folks, for me it's fun. A supper hero's job's not done. Yummy, 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 yum, yum, yum. Till every supper plate is clean, no matter what type of cuisine. Yummy, 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 yum, yum, yum. Who let him in? Hey, is that chocolate? I love chocolate. Oh, wait! Yummy, 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 yum. Yummy, 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 yum, yum. Ah, good citizens, don't fear, oh, and be of good cheer, oh. I love my new career, oh. I am the supper hero. Dude, he ate our cake. So, what do you say, guys? Can I join the league? This has been Silly Songs with Laddie Boy. Tune in next time to hear the league say... No. no. Yummy, 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 yum. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. I remember the day you came my way. Saw you protrude. Oh, there you are. I put away my baby food. When you peeked out at me, I knew it was meant to be. It was meant to be. My only tooth, my lonely tooth, my all by itself in the middle of my mouth, too. Happy tooth day to you. on stilts while he knits quilts. Nice quilt! I sing with simulated Scottish Highland lilt. Oh, beautiful! He plays his bagpipes. He tags melts. Tagus! We feel so smart in our red tartan Scottish kilt. Sing it, lad! 
be parrotartin kilts. We feel so smart in our retartan Scottish kilts. Technically you stitch a quilt, but otherwise lovely. Have a morning to you! I'll have you know that's not in Scotland. I dance on stilts. Excuse me, sir. He stitches quilts. What are you doing with a shamrock? I sing with simulated Northern Irish lilt. Irish? He plays his whistle. What? Eat salt, it smelts. It's not on the menu. We feel so smart in our green tart and Irish kilts. I got nothing against me, I'm in green, green tart and kilts. We feel so smart in our green tart and Irish kilts. But this is a sky song. Tip, tip, cheerio. Dance on stilts. He stitches quilts. What are you doing? I sing with simulated English cockney lilt. <laughs> he plays his trumpet. Well, he eats crumpet milk. Give me that crumpet. We, we feel so smart in our St. George's English kilts. Well, you shouldn't let me. In our St. George's kilts. We feel so smart in our St. George's English kilts. How do you all? Stop it, you! You're ruining my mind. I dance on stilts. He stitches quilts. American! I sing with ordinary oh, unaccented lilt. I'm feeling dizzy. He plays his banjo. Eats cheddar melts. I'm breaking We feel so smart in our Star Spangled Stripey oh, Kilts. Stop that! In our Star Spangled Kilts. We feel so smart in our Star Spangled Stripey Kilts. We feel so smart in our Star Spangled Stripey Kilts. This has been Silly Songs with Scottish Larry. Tune in next time to hear Larry say... Just get him some scotch tape and butterscotch. He'll be fine. Ah, oh, my bunny lies over the ocean. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Trapped in the trappings of holiday bliss. Whoa. Wrapped in bright wrappings. In a cucumber shape. Oops, I wrapped myself up for Christmas. Oops, I wrapped myself up for Christmas. I didn't mean to do it. Was stuck before I knew it. Oops, I wrapped myself up for Christmas. I think the super sticky. Oops, so now when I was packing, I got caught up in the wrapping in the ribbons and bows. The only gift with the nose. Oops, I wrapped myself up for Christmas. Okay, hey, Larry, where are you? Can you help me wrap Junior's present? Here I am. Where? Right here. I don't see you. I wouldn't expect you to. Huh? Why? Why? Ah! Oh because I, oh, Larry, I wrapped myself up for Christmas. You wrapped yourself up? Yep. However did you do it? I don't know. Is it tricky to see through it? Yeah. Oh, oh why? Oh, did you wrap yourself up for Christmas? Didn't do it on purpose. Completely accidental. Uh, accidental? You do look ornamental. Aw, oh, thank you. Somehow when I were packing, I got caught up in the wrapping. All the ribbons and bows, the only gift with a nose inside. Wrap myself up for Christmas. <laughs> oh, Larry, leave it to you. You're the only one I know who could go and wrap himself up. Really? Ah! Wrap his bows up for Christmas. Sorry. The wrapping up the school bus. The cucumber confused us. I can't see. And he hey. wrap his bows up for Christmas. Just trying to help, guys. Our anxiety is gross. Hello. We can't see where we're going. Ah. Somehow when we were packing, we got caught up in the wrapping. Two Christmas EPs. Two EPs are in Wrap his bows up for Christmas. Bob. Larry. Larry. Oh. oh, no. I gotta get this wrapped. Junior's coming. I'll help. No, no, don't let you. I've got something for you. Hello? A wee. Wrap it all up for Christmas. Actually, he wrapped me up. Larry. Wrap it all up for Christmas. Hold on, guy. Trapped in the trap beans, a holiday bliss. Wrapped in bright wrap beans, how bad we miss. We need the paper and tape. This has been Silly Songs with Larry. Tune in next time to hear Junior say... Has anyone seen Pa Grape? Larry, ah! I'll be all up for Christmas. Larry! Larry. Sorry! <laughs> and now it's time for...
silly song for Laddie. The part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Asteroid, 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 asteroid cowboy. Yeehaw! Oh my little rocky dogie, your orbit has been stirred. Don't you dare be sneaking out. show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. We join Laddie in his search for a vegetable's best friend. The perfect puppy. I woke up dreaming of a friend. Perfect puppy. The happy hours we could spend. I've been a little lonely. I thought if I could only, only look up and see. The perfect puppy for me. It's very smart and curly. Je ne parle pas français. I hear they wake up early. Maybe Dalmatian. It rides around on fire trucks. Those spots make me dizzy. Those sirens drive me nuts. You like Chihuahua? It's as tiny as can be. Si, senor. It's mucho small. I might squish it accidentally. Okay, a great Dane. It's really, really big. Yeah, but feeding it and feeding it would become my only gig. Uh-oh, that wouldn't be good. The perfect puppy To always be right by my side Perfect puppy To find those toys that try to hide My heart is so wide open I spend each moment hoping Hoping I'll look up and see The perfect puppy for me oh. Have you ever seen a Sharpe? It has really wrinkled skin I'd like to iron out those wrinkles But where to begin? Chow chow, it looks like a lion, but it's nice. I only got time to feed it once, and a chow chow eats food twice. You have a no, these pecan, no, malt, no, these, none of these. Shiz, no, cock -a no, these won't do. What's wrong with you? Maybe I'm afraid of hair. Pick up who I wouldn't dare. But my biggest fear might be Will I love it? And will it? Sorry. He's 
awesome. Ooh. Hey, pal, I'll tell you what. Some say you're just a mutt. But when I look up, I see... The perfect puppy for me. This has been Silly Songs with Letty. Tune in next time to hear Bob say... He looks familiar to me. I think he might be a cucapoo. Does he look familiar to you? And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. We join Larry as he recounts the amazing tale of his family's invention of macaroni and cheese. It's true. I will explain it to you. Azoli and opera. Great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great
Okay, my search will widen. To just beyond this lava pit, I'm sure that's where it's hiding. I overcome each hardship. I make it through each mess because I must possess my golden egg. Has my name on it. It will be mine, all mine, all mine, because I want it. It's there for the picking from a bunny or chicken. Soon I'll be holding my golden egg. I missed it. Oh, look, I found it. And now she has her happy hands around it. I'm defeated, a lot of nothing's what I got. But maybe, but maybe, but maybe not. I still have my golden egg. Thanks to the caring of my competitor, whose heart believes in sharing. This bowl's made for peeling. What a wonderful feeling. Cause now we are holding our gold. And now it's time for Agitated Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings an agitated song. I'm very, very upset, and I'm not having fun. So if you will excuse me, my little song is done. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Oh, Billy rolled out on the stage one side, the chocolate glazed. In a spotlight sat a squeeze box, just a waiting to be played. The people shifted in their seats, a hush fell on that place. As Billy raised his instrument below his chocolate vase He played a tune so softly So sweetly did he sing To his cruller Mary Jo Waiting in the wings Amazing glazed, amazing glazed My heart is dazed my spirits raised, oh Mary Jo, amazing glazed. <laughs> Cupid with his bowstring drum descended on that scene. His arrow pointed at the heart of that sprinkled beauty queen. Billy smiled then gasped in shock. <gasps> his happiness destroyed. The arrow missed her loving heart and sailed right through the void. He played a tune so softly, so sad and full of soul. To his cruller Mary Jo and her heartless donut hole. Amazing glazed, amazing glazed, my heart is dazed, my spirit is raised, oh Mary Jo, amazing glazed. I love you, but you do not love me back. And now for your dining pleasure. From the wilds of Australia, the Wanna Wallaby! A wallaby, a wallaby, I wanna be a wallaby. Maybe one or two or three of you would also wanna be a mini kangaroo, you see, is what we call a wallaby. A wallaby, a wallaby, I wanna be a wallaby. Here is what it takes to be a wanna wanna wallaby. A pouch in front for little Jack. A big strong tail is out the back. And watch out for my kick attack. Hi ya! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Yeah! What? You're going to hurt someone with all this kicking. 
missing. But I'm a wallaby. You're a cucumber in a sleeping bag. It's not a sleeping bag. I see the zipper. Wallabies have zippers. They do not. They have pouches. Take off that suit and get back in the show. Can I be a kookaburra? No. A didgeridoo? Didgeridoo, don't even think about it. Well, that could have gone better. Say, friends, are you having trouble with your relationship? Oh, my brother and I always get along. Yeah, best buds. That's not what I heard. What did you hear? I heard Jerry thinks you talk too much. What? And Jerry, I heard Jimmy thinks you have terrible taste in donuts. Chocolate sprinkles? I'm never speaking to you again. Me too. Say, friends, are you having trouble with your relationship? Terrible trouble. Not speaking. Boys, have I got the product for you. It's Mr. Lunch Relationship Glue, guaranteed to put your relationship back together. How does it work? Just a tiny amount of this convenient spray <laughs> applied lightly to each of you. Smells like beef. What do we do now? Just walk toward each other until you touch, activating the formula. Hey, we're stuck. It's Mr. Lunch Relationship Glue. You're stuck on me, I'm stuck on you. Seems too good for it to be true. It's Mr. Lunch Relationship Glue. Sticky. Your relationship is healed. Uh, fellows, Bob says we need to clear the stage for Act Two. What's the matter with them? Ah, what's happening? It's this stuff. You mean it's Mr. Lunt's relationship glue. You're stuck on me, I'm stuck on you. Plus no flaky residue. It's Mr. Lunt's relationship glue. Isn't it great? No, it is not great. This is horrible. What is happening? We must get back to the show. Look out! So cool. It's Mr. Lunch Relationship Glue for two or three or four of you. On sale for $19.92. It's Mr. Lunch Relationship Glue. I love helping people. 